Hi everyone, my name is uh, Kane Fraser. This is my friend Heino Siebert. Hey, yo. Kevin Pinkin. Uh, we were racing in class 18. Our, our car number was 1802. Uh, this is our first time in the Baja 1000, our first time off-road racing. And for me, my first time racing any sport ever. I did it because, you know, it, it's, it's hard. It's built as the toughest, most grueling off-road race in the world. And I got a friend named Rick Hansen. And Rick wheeled around the world 25 years ago. Rick has changed a lot of lives in the last 25 years with what he's done. I'm from the same hometown. I thought we should do something to support him in celebration of his 25th anniversary. So I talked to my friend Heino. I said to Heino, I said, Heino, I think we should race the Baja 1000. That was a great idea, man. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. And that's what Heino said. That's exactly what he said. That was it. That was the plan. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That was it. So our discussion was about 30 seconds? Maybe. Yeah. The wives probably thought we were talking a little more, but yeah. we made this a little yeah. It, yeah. it took us 30 seconds. Heino jumped on board a great yeah. event. We're done. We're yeah. done. And uh, we, of course, we're There's super... no bigger challenge, right? Yeah. yeah. Let's do that one. We are super naive, yeah. we had no idea. We learned a lot along the way, we got laughed at a lot, which was yeah. fun. But, uh, we so didn't know any better. Yeah, we were <laughs> yeah, naive. So then, uh, but in terms of what I wanted to accomplish was I really had three goals for this. And for me it was to raise $25,000 for the Rick Hansen Foundation, to create awareness about the abilities of people with disabilities, and to inspire one disabled person to really move ahead with their goals, to strive to achieve their goals because, you know, you can do it. Whatever it is you want to do, you can do. You just never give up, right? As long as you try and try, you will succeed. As soon as you give up, you're letting yourself down. So you, you just got to keep moving forward. You know, there's obstacles in everyone's life. And, you know, as long as we, you know, keep the end goal in mind, yeah, there's going to be zinks and zags, but you're going to get there. Like in this race, like, I mean, we were just talking about how could you miss the turn, right? There was like 15 flags go this way. <laughs> and we missed it, like both of us. And then, then then, the challenge was how do we get back to the race? Like, you know, we don't want to let our team down. You know, my friends, they came a long way. We've been, we've been preparing for 11 months. And just to let a little, you know, extra 100 miles get in the way of this, I told the team uh, before we kind of before we got into the race, like we had all kinds of problems with the vehicle. The first time we took it out, we went 65 miles, I know. Yeah. And we ripped off the control arm. Oh, you was, did. Okay, I, I didn't did. do it. That was driver error. That's what we call. That was, that's what we call loss of talent. Yeah. And then our second trip in the buggy together. Yeah, 200 feet. Yeah, we made it like 200 feet on the course. We're going to pre run a section. We hit the first loop. We remounted. We flipped three times at about what 50 miles an hour. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, about 100 feet. We slapped down, broke the seam, control arm, and then Heino and, and uh, Roger. Yeah, we managed to find a machine shop in Ensenada, made us custom parts to get the thing fixed. We, two days before the race, uh, man, those guys were so helpful. They went way out of their way to help us to get that thing fixed and get, them, get the parts made. They did a phenomenal job. They got us on the road, we put the thing together, and we were ready to race. And we were finding this out as we were going, right? Because we've never been here. So we're just meeting people and talking to them. You know, Hi Ricky, uh, Heino's brother, Ricky Bobby. He built us some money. Yeah, he built yeah. it. He did such a great job. And then when we were down here after we broke it again, you know, he got in there and he fixed it. And, you know, we were concerned about one of the shocks and it, it held up. I mean, by the right end of the, the end. Yeah, by yeah. the end of the race, they He's were done. glowing. Yeah. But uh, he made it. Yeah. And this is Ke Kevin here. You know, he jumped in and he missed the sign too. By the way, he, he was now. I'm the guy who missed the turn at uh, checkpoint two. I'll take full credit for that. I, I want to check out a bit of the scenery, and uh, so we did a bit of a tour. Well, we thought we, we would pre. Twice. We thought we would pre-run the race during the race because we were concerned about that section, right? Kevin? We were, yeah. yeah, yeah so we thought concerned. we better do it once. Check out twice. Once yeah. during the day and once during the night. Yeah, yeah. I like to check things out quite in depth. Yes, yeah, so we're pretty thorough. <laughs> Trophy trucks started passing us in class one buggies. We we're going to give you a heads up yeah. on that. Well, we kind of figured out a little bit before then, but then we started really cluing in that there's 
something with mile markers. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta like yeah, lost like, three oh, miles somewhere. Four ninety. <laughs> so then, you know, because we never pre-ran anything, we were like, okay, hey, how do we get back on Highway Three? So we saw, we talked to some locals. They, they didn't speak English. So we're like, how do we get onto Highway Three? And they're like, you want to go to Ensenada? We're like, no, it's San Felipe. Oh, man, we're San Felipe. They're like, whoa. And they're like, yeah, you missed it, man. We made a big mistake. <laughs> You know, we tried to buy gas, we finally found the cutoff road, I don't know what it's called, but some guys told us where to go, we stopped at a gas station, we filled up, tried to contact our team, and we just we got back, and you know, we got back in the race. I drove to race call 5.40, and then Heino and Steve Durst got yeah, in we there, back and here, they did yeah. the Pacific Coast. Yeah. yeah, we were already dummy, like from a couple of trips before. We got in the buggy and we wanted to make up some time because there was a guy in front of us and we were trying to catch up to him. We didn't think we could, but we thought we'd keep up a fast pace just in case he broke down. Uh, we were freezing. Actually, Stephen, my excellent navigator, much like Kevin, fell asleep while we were navigating. <laughs> so I'm driving, flying down this road right now. Holy, I said, friggin' sharp right, right here, right? And I look over and he's, his friggin' head is nodded down. He's sleeping. Oh, he's supposed to be navigating. So I go, okay, well, I'm going to show this works. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I made the turn. It was a sharp turn. We almost went over the bank. But we kept going. We made it to the next checkpoint. Kane got in. We were already damp and cold, but we wanted to finish this thing no matter what. It didn't matter what it t took to get it done. We got to the next checkpoint. We find out the guy that's in front of us. He just hit a, he hit a freaking cross and a washout and broke. And actually, a bunch of our team went up there. There's two or three guys went up there to try and help him fix it. We were actually drug him out of the ditch and hauled parts out to him to try and get him going again, but they were too badly broken to get back into the race. So we kept going, and right to the end, Kane got back in the car about halfway through through that step and finish the race off. Number seven trophy truck come up behind us and basically escorted us in. Yeah. It's awesome. So, just so everyone knows, uh, you know, I came to Heino with this idea and it was really, really important. Like Heino's been a huge sponsor in his company. They put a lot of effort into this. We didn't know anything about racing, this race, this type of stuff. These guys did a lot of research. They put the a score was awesome position. too. Like Bill. Yeah. Yeah, he was just the awesome. Been awesome. Everyone, but he dragon player. Jagged X Pro Armor, they've all helped us out. And for me, that what was really most important was I started the race with Pino and I finished with Pino. Yeah. We started together and finished together. We started yeah. together and we finished together. Yeah. So we did that. A little bug eyed, but we finished. Yeah. 36 hours. 36. Yeah. I'd like to be like 31 yeah. and 59 minutes and 59 seconds, but yeah. you know, a little detour didn't help. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, the course just wasn't tough enough. <laughs> Well, we wanted to make it through 1,000. It was only 705, so we wanted to add to it. I've since had a bit of education on the uh, GPS system, so I yeah. pretty much got that down pat at this point. Yeah. And uh, highly educated on uh, orange and black arrows. Yeah. So. yeah, and I can tell you, we anytime I jump in a buggy with Kevin and you know, driver and navigator, buddy. Yeah. It was too cool. We got to do it again. Yeah, I'd love to do it again. It was a lot of fun. We met a lot of great people. Had a great experience. You know, it was it was good. The best part of the race was one of my teammates said to me, we had a team meeting, he said to me, Kane, you don't have anything to prove, you know, I know you, I know the things you've already done, and uh, he actually, and this guy is one of the toughest guys I know, he said to me, you're my hero, we both had tears in his eyes and he gave me a hug, and at the end of the race, one of my teammates gave me a hug, we both had tears in his eyes and he said, I'm proud of you, those were the best moments. team to you guys. This is my special edition bottle of the Baja 1000 tequila to commemorate this race. We only make one for each mile of the race, so there's only 692 of these made. Last year we had 1,061, so we wanted you to have this for coming down. So that's for you. And then we gave you a team jacket, I mean a team hat, and we got a a team shirt for you. So anytime you want to come back down to Baja, you're welcome to hang out with us and, and, and do what we do or bring your equipment down and have some more sure. Baja fun. Yeah, yeah. We got some big plans for you guys, so you're down. Awesome. So, oh, yeah. We'll yeah. Thank you.